Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya sa'ala. Koholoyim la, yahwo, bahashim yahwasai, bahashim rakahakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, and um, we have to touch on these these end days prophecies, man, of um, people you know ha not having natural affection. Um, Matter of fact, one of the things Yahweh Shai spoke of in Matthew 24 is that because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So you're living in a cold era, man. You have to be really, really careful. And better yet, you should be praying. You should be praying. On a day-to-day -day basis, you should be praying throughout your day. Scripture says to pray without ceasing. You can't do enough praying, man. You jump into your car, you should be you know, saying a quick prayer. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, keep me safe while I travel. However you want to say it. But use those names. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. Now, that Jesus thing, you need to get rid of that name. That's idolatry. There's no white guy in the Bible named Jesus that's coming back to save anyone. The letter J was invented in 1524, so we know that the Lord's name is not Jesus because 2,000 years ago, there wasn't no letter J. And don't let none of these people tell you about how his name doesn't matter. All through the scriptures, it talks about his name. Both of them name. You have to have, you need to, you have to be calling on the, on the correct names to get your prayers answered, man. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the Israelites. The Lord gave you laws, statutes, and commandments, man, to live by. And the reason why this world is so out of whack is because there's no order because the children of Israel are in captivity and, 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 and we're being ruled over and oppressed by the wicked, which is the so-called white race, Esau, Edom, that's their biblical nationality. Everywhere this man is at is chaos. Everybody is fucking miserable, bro, on this, on this planet, other than the children of Israel that's into this truth and the Lord dealing with them, you know, by the Holy Spirit. Anyway, though, it says woman. Butchered to deletion inside Walmart Superstore as witnesses watched. You know they was gonna watch. And you know they got this all on camera. Hey, Walmart, Walmart got cameras on your motherfucking ass as soon as you probably a mile down before you even hit their parking lot, they got cameras on you. So you know they got full HD camera looks at 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 at, at, at blood gushing. They they up up close, zooming in close as hell. So it says um, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department is investigating the homicide of a woman, right? So that's why we tell you women, man, um, you know, it's going to be some rough times out here soon. Okay. Uh, says she was brutally stabbed to deletion inside a Walmart superstore on Monday morning. Deputies responded to the business on the 29,000 block of Central Avenue in Lake Elsinor around 7 a.m. to investigate the assault of a of with deadly weapon. That's early as hell. It says a witness told police a female was stabbed at the location by a black man. The suspect is now in custody, and there's no such thing as black people. You know, there's just different shades of brown people on the planet, man. No one's out here looking like a damn car tire. You know, you got some dark ass people though. Don't get me wrong. Some of them hamites. They are um, they are pretty dark. But when it comes to, you know, so-called Negroes, no, so-called Negroes, we're just different shades of brown, man. So it says uh, medical aid was given to the victim. However, she was pronounced deceased. The sheriff's office told Newsweek the victim was a Walmart employee. However, no additional details about the suspect or victim, including their names, are available at this time. So, yeah, man, hey, things is getting rough out here. Let me get this first one. These, hey, this is, uh, 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 I've, been, I've been saying that as of late. This is a flood behavior. This world this world is in a mode of flood behavior. When I say flood behavior, just one day before the world was flooded out and the Lord saved Noah and his three sons and their wives, this is the type of shit that was going on, man. A bunch of weirdoism, a bunch of freakism, a bunch of nastiness, and a bunch of damn crime and 
just you name it, man. Flood behavior, man. Um, let me see. Now well, let's get this uh, Ephesians five and fifteen real quick. It says, "See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil." See. You got to be careful, man. You got to, you know, first off, like I said again, hey, the, the most important, you know, the best weapon you got is prayer to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai. Because he's the one that, that 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 kills and makes alive. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. He's the one in control. Matter of fact, it was the Lord that placed the spirit of vengeance on that guy to go in there. Seven in the morning. They probably, uh, 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 probably together and had a, a, a verbal dispute before she left the house. She could have been dealing with one of the Walmart employees, you know, on a breaks. This dude found out. Ain't no telling. No telling, man. But let's see who's doing the um the whacking, though. Let's see who's doing the deletions. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, so we know that it full flesh is the Lord. Let's get one more. Let's get another precept because you got some, um, you know, people will hear that and like, oh, that's not what that's talking about. Because, <laughs> you know, people got this misconception that this um, that there's a, a red guy with this spandex suit on, got a pitchfork with horns on his goddamn head. It's running around just doing what he wants to do to everybody when he wants to do it. That's all fairy tale, man. That's all fables, man. Old ass wives tales. That's not scriptural. Now, the Lord created spirits for vengeance, but he's in control of those spirits. Those spirits are not just out here just disobeying the Lord, man. There was no fight with Lucifer and the Lord in the heavens, and, the, and Lucifer just so happened to lose that weekend. Got his ass kicked. He's coming back next weekend with his boys with more reinforcements. Get the hell out of here, man. That's not scriptural. That word Lucifer just goes off into light bearer. Has nothing to do with no man, no woman, no child. Anyway. 1 Samuel 2 and 6 to back up that other one. The Lord killeth and maketh the live. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifted up and lifted up. So whatever anybody's situation is, the Lord got him in this situation. If you're if if a motherfucker is homeless, the Lord got him homeless. If a motherfucker hit the big game for 300 million, the Lord ha um, um, made that happen. You see, as a matter of fact, the scripture talks about, um, what is that, Matthew? It talks about not even a sparrow will fall to the ground without the Lord sanctioning it, man. I'm trying to think, let me see, where is, where is that? I'm going to have to type it in. Nope, nope, Matthew 10 and 29, I was on it. Are not two farthings, it's like you are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. See? See that? They can't, it's, it's nothing, a damn leaf can't fall off a tree without the Lord sanctioning it, man. If a person get into a horrible accident on a freeway or whatever, his motherfucker get hit on his bike, you know, whatever, man. The Lord is the one that's in control of those things. So, you know, hey, <laughs> it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Can you imagine? I don't even know what super strong fucking... Walmart open that damn early? I didn't even know Walmart open that early. 7 a.m.? You know what kind of shit got to be on your mind to get up at 7 a.m.? To, to That motherfucker was up all night thinking about that. Had to be. You you know that. I mean, golly. Come on, bro. Matter of fact, and it, this is a good one, too. Let me get this. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And and this is what we're really witnessing. When you have this kind of um, moral decay, that's a fall of a nation, man. When you got a man walking into a business and deleting a woman in that type of fashion, that lets you know that this place is it's in total decay. Total decay. And we're hearing about... um. Horrific shit all the time. No, that's the crazy part. It's it, it's horrific ass crimes going on all day, every day. But since we're here, though, let's get um.
Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance, man. Now, what did this lady do to, to, to you know, to, to deserve the type of deletion that the Lord sent her way? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the, the Lord's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You know, roughly paraphrasing. It says teeth of wild beasts. You've been hearing about a lot of people getting mauled up by their own pets, bears and lions and shit. And scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. And that right there should put a, a healthy dose of fear in anybody. But, you know, people, hey, people don't believe, man, until the shit happened to them. Here you go. The Lord got spirits that are happy to come and knock your ass off. The Lord created them, man. It says they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. So, hey, these, these spirits of vengeance, man, they're on the move all day long. Every time somebody gets to, you know, I don't care if it's a wound. Because the scripture says that the Lord, he, he wounds and he heals. So sometimes the Lord, he won't take you completely out of here. He'll fuck you up. Put your ass in a wheelchair, man. Have you breathing out of a damn tube. There's nothing for the Lord to do that, man. Nothing for the Lord to send a spirit of vengeance, man. That's why we, we pray for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me go back into the blue letter. But let, let's get this Matthew 24 and verse 12. Let's set it up with verse 3, though. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So let's jump to verse 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. This is one of the things that the Lord spoke of that will be happening in the end days. Because iniquity, that sin upon sin upon sin upon sin upon sin, unchecked shit, man. Unchecked shit, man. Motherfuckers just running around here unchecked, just doing whatever, man. And it's getting worse and worse and worse, right? Matter of fact, let me see, though. Because there's so many of these articles. Let me see what they got at the bottom. You know, sometimes when you go off in here, it, they'll have, like, related stories or whatever. Oh, that's not, okay, this is not one of them. Um, this is Newsweek. Yeah, man. And, and and things be happening at Walmart all the time, man. Shit, it was a a, a so-called um, white man that stabbed up a, um, a young young so-called black man in a Walmart, an employee that was working there. I think the guy was like 19. Motherfucker just walked through there, man. He was They said he was screaming racist shit. And I guess he got a butcher knife from the um from the um, you know, the the kitchen kitchen area. And he he, he jugged up um 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 a little young Jake, man. Jake just probably just trying to get him some money, man, to get his first rims on his first car or some shit. But anyway, let's see here, though. Um, going to my history, it was a, something else. I'm tr trying to think if this was a... Oh, of course, this shit right here. And he got... This guy got life, man. They should have threw his ass in. They should have uh, fire and squad his ass. Same way fire squad his kids. He killed all three of his sons. Seven. I'm um, Clayton. Seven. Hunter. Four. Chase. Three. Yeah, that, that's your typical Edomite names too. This dude, um, uh, Doorman, <laughs> thirty-three. You know, so, and they gave him um three consecutive life terms. A lot. For for fucking what? What the fuck is three consecutive life terms? You only you know he, the motherfucker ain't got but one life. He's 33, so the taxpayers got to feed this motherfucker until he's whatever age. You know, it depends on how long the Lord tarry, which we hoping in that. Hey, it's not long at all. But in the meanwhile, just think of the stupidity of 
somebody got to, you know, um, taxpayers got to come out of pocket to house this motherfucker, man, feed this motherfucker when he should be already out of here. What's with the plea deals and shit? That's the only reason why he, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming, I think in this, uh, wherever it's at, he dodged, um, I'm assuming they got the death penalty wherever this guy's at because he made a plea deal. He says he was arrested at the scene, charged with three counts of aggravated um, deletion and a slew of lesser charges. He pleaded guilty to the murders on Friday and was sentenced to three consecutive life terms plus another 16 years on assault. See, this type of stupid shit. See? Oh, okay, it's 20 miles outside of um, Cincinnati. Look at this dude, man. Hey, hey and he's all losing it. Them are the people you, you you should be watching the most, man, when you out in public. That's why, um, you know, I bring up that scripture uh, sometimes um, by the Spirit. Getting your ass up B-time and handling your business. Get the hell out of Esau's um, path, man. But, I mean, hey, uh, again, you know, th that shit happened at 7 a.m., so it's really like <laughs> the Lord's timing, man. Hey, if the Lord wants you, you you're just not going to escape. That's what Deuteronomy 32 and 39 said. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. If the Lord wants your ass out of here, you can do all that you 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 think that you can do to try and avoid whatever. You can go buy guns, bullets, get you a damn vest, get you an armored tank, and be riding in that bitch through the hood. Whatever the case, hey, the Lord wants your ass out of here. You out of here. He can get you in any kind of way that he wants. It'd be people, man, that'd be, you know, motherfucking tree fall on their asses out of the blue. You know. I just seen, a, um, what was that, an article. These people are trying to sue this trucking company. But, man, this guy, this house is so far away from the freeway. This guy fell asleep under the wheel of an 18-wheeler. That motherfucker went through a bunch of shit down a ravine, down onto this exit, down on it, and that shit veered off the road. And ran right through their goddamn house. Two of the ladies got burnt up. Because they was caught up under, underneath the damn truck. In the living room I think it was. Another guy he was in his bedroom. The shit hit so hard it blew him out of his bedroom window. Out onto the lawn and fucked him up. He lived though but he fucked up. So just think about that man. That That's the Lord getting down. You can't get around that man. The Lord is, is totally calculated when it comes down to. Uh, 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 you know, deletions, man. That's why that, um, that Hebrews 10 and 31, it says uh, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah, I want this, um, this one. Yep, Ecclesiasticus 32 and 11. It says, rise up be times and be not the last, but get thee home without delay. So it is basically get up early. Go handle your business. You got banking to do, go handle it. You got shopping to do, go handle it. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, through prayer though. Like I said again, you we have to pray. We have to pray, man. That's one of our number one um um weapons, man. Is to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because other than that, you know, you just, you know, people just walking around out here open targets, man. Open targets, man. You just never know, man. I, it's just, I mean, hey, but you think people will have a real healthy fear of the Lord, man, but they don't until disaster strikes. And the scripture says that the Lord will laugh at your calamity, too. Can you imagine this lady getting jugged up? She getting jugged up in the motherfucking Walmart and the Lord, he kicked back laughing. You better wake up, man. But let me get this as well, though, um. Because these are the days that we're in right here. Let me go back to the blue letter. Let's get that second um, Timothy 3. In verse 1, let's start there. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, <laughs> despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, 
having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And all those things are happening, man. That, that's the, the average person you come across, they, they, they got at least six of them traits. At least six of those things that's named off in, in like 15 or so. <laughs> you know, people that, you know, people are, are, this is the way they're moving right now. They're moving like this, man. So we know that we're in the last days just by, um, um, you know, things like this. Let's, let me see. It was another article, though. This lady, um, she deleted her two little daughters. Deleted her two little daughters, two little blonde, um, haired, um, little white girls and deleted her damn self because people are, they're losing it. They can't. They just don't know what the fuck to do no more, man. That's why that um no, I think I was on another phone when I um with that uh with that story. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that was another phone I was on. Um anyway, well let's go back though, let's get one more. Proverbs 29 and 2 comes to mind. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. That's another um, 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 way that we know that um, the wicked is running the earth. Um, Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who's running the earth? Who's sanctioning everybody? Who's telling everybody what the fuck to do? Who's writing all the curriculum? Who's telling you their science is over the God, the words of Yahweh Bashem al He's out here giving you traffic laws and shit. He's out here writing citations. Every goddamn, uh, you can you can drive three miles away from where your location is at right off. And you in a whole nother fucking district where motherfucker got some whole other laws for your ass. And it's all so-called white people, man. It's them. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and the wicked are running this bitch, and people are, are, are suffering. People are really suffering, man. Now, you pretty much all you do in this man's kingdom is you 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 sleep to work, you work to sleep. That's it. And then he throws you a little bullshit ass uh uh uh, uh idolatrous holiday in there, here and there, where you can take a break. He give you a weekend off. He put your ass right back to work. He give you a holiday to spend all the money that you actually worked for or, or the, the, the money that you, you did save up. Because everything is expensive as hell. He's in control of rent control. He's in control of motherfucking car payments. He's in control of damn car insurance, medical, dental, I. <laughs> you can't say this man is not the fucking wicked, bro. He running shit, man. And he's starting to be revealed, too. Yeah, I don't think this was the phone I was in. But, I mean, but man, you know, as you scroll through this news. Let me see. No, that wasn't the one. There's all kinds of wickedness going on, man. All manner of wickedness. We just got down the postal worker. He don't even want to go to. He don't even want to do his job. Look at the postal worker right here. He throwing the goddamn mail over into a goddamn dumpster bin. And somebody got his ass on camera. Lazy fat ass Jake man There's a lot going on in the world man Yeah, it's a lot going on out here. We can pretty much about end out. out. I was trying to find this one other story. It says an, an Iowa woman was arrested on suspicion of trying to poison her husband by adding eye drops <laughs> to his drink. Can't even trust the people that's supposed to be closest around you, bro, in this motherfucker, man. It's a very wicked place, man. Here you go. This is supposed to be your help me. And she's trying to kill your ass. Yeah. Look at this one right here. Driver records himself striking bicyclists in Detroit. Post video on social media. Through, bro.
This guy right here, though, he, he, he done him up. Murder suspect featured on America's Most Wanted. Spent 20 years on the run. Check it out. Turns out he was working as a cop. <laughs> you talking about blending in? God damn. Anyway, man, I'm going to end out there. I didn't want to keep this long. I just wanted to do something quick. Because these are part of the last day's prophecies, man, you know. There's a lot of prophecies that's left. But this is definitely, you know, some of the things that hey, the Lord spoke on. Hey, it's going to be some real heinous shit going on. But it's going to get so much worse, man. That's the crazy thing. Like, this is just, you know, the, 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 the simmering of it, so to speak. You know, it's going to come to that full boil soon. Where that goddamn lid on the pot get the sh sh shimmering. That little bubble coming. It's time to turn the eye off, man. You know what I'm saying? The shit is done. So, you know, be prepared, man. And and, and have that, you know, we need that healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. See, people just be moving about their day. Everything is okay. And then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, disaster strike. Screams is going out. Crazy, bro. So, I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashola. Baba Ball.